Hi, my name is Noelle Haller and I'm a senior undergraduate athletic training student at the University of South Carolina and today we're going to be reviewing the organs that are within the four abdominal quadrants. So I've created a chart of sorts here to kind of show you where everything is located because we've got the right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, right lower quadrant, as well as the left lower quadrant for the abdomen. And I've also underlined several of the organs in here because if you're having a patient that's experiencing any sort of signs and symptoms of any of these rupturing, that's going to be a situation where you might need to send them to the hospital. A great acronym to remember these organs is going to be G-L-A-S-S or GLASS. And it's going to be for your gallbladder, liver, appendix, stomach, and spleen. So let's review the quadrants. In your right upper quadrant, we've got the liver, gallbladder, as we previously mentioned, duodenum, pancreas, right adrenal gland, right kidney, as well as your ascending and transverse colon, or at least a portion of it. In the left upper quadrant, we're gonna have the spleen and stomach, another portion of the pancreas, left adrenal gland, right left kidney, and another portion of the ascending and transverse colon. Down in the right lower quadrant, we're gonna have the cecum and appendix, the ascending colon, bladder, ovary, uterus, right spermatic cord, as well as right ureter. And in the left lower quadrant, we're gonna have the sigmoid colon, descending colon, bladder, ovary, uterus, left spermatic cord, as well as the left ureter. And obviously, depending on if you're a male or female, you'll have the uterus and or the spermatic cord, just depending on your anatomy. But if at any point in this video, you need a reminder of what's where, you can just take a screenshot at any point in time.